What's going on out there guys? You already know man, it's your boy the original gamehead bringing you back some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright guys, so I had to switch it up just a little. Cause um, yeah man, I was rocking the same stuff a little bit in a couple of the um, vids. But um, yeah man, let's get let's get it moving on this beautiful, beautiful day that Yahweh shot the most high has created. Loving it man, let's just get right into this. Let's get this going. Who's oh, there? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalin is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. You know what's crazy? Like, what I just realized? Look how casually they just take their guns, right? Right in front of police officers. Like, it was that real back then. Like, that real. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a that thing, you know, a respect. It's a big, beautiful house. You join the party. Man, oh man. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the but I'm like, I'm like seriously though, like, they just casually gave their guns over right in front of law enforcement. These dudes are not law enforcement themselves. <laughs> They're definitely common crooks. Uh, I'd say a little bit more than common crooks, of course, you know, Arthur and um, Dutch. They're, you know, but jeez, man, just gave the guns over right in front of these guys and nothing happened. Like, and they're going to meet the mayor. Boys, you arrived, and you've watched for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me, like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, 
We're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I find that guy to be very fucking obnoxious. He's a fucking asshole. And I can't wait to kill that scumbag. My goodness, man. And there's people out there that actually is exactly like that and exist. Straight scumbags. Just scum a society. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to hmm. the Ciao, ciao. Yeah, whatever. I just want to kill him so bad. Let's go in great. Okay, what's going on? Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Those I got you. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us new friends. Okay. Let's just see what we're doing here. Mingle with the guests in the courtyard. Okay. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. There we go. The gentleman, clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see nice. you next week. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. Let her walk past. Gotta let. I had to let her do that because I'm not trying to even. Get involved with nobody. All right, and trying to do nothing stupid. Okay, it's not t not telling me to do anything right now. Okay, that's the mayor. Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting you know, me regarding the Redskins. I did here. no such thing. <laughs> but, I still you know, you funny, Pinkertons have been seen around here. all of us, Shelly. as Americans, had a duty to take care of people really? living in no this more. land. Really? No problem. Thank you. And that extends Shelly. to San Denis. But Mr. Okay, I don't even understand. The Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. How do you problem. do that? And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. I beg to differ, sir. It is not a verbal problem, but a human problem. Let's just stay out the way. Do we want to end this century yet more besmirched with blood and guilt because of more sins? Do we wish to better ourselves? Okay, let's just sit here for a while and just listen. do I. But things are more complex in the matters of men than in the heads of the intellectuals. <laughs> Frickin' idiots. All think they're so smart. Okay. Let's see if I can't get a little closer. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. 
I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Don't say you and me too long. Yeah, okay, so we could take him somewhere. I initially don't want to kill him, and I'm not gonna kill him. Okay, let's get him out of here. Now we can get back. Yeah, so we can definitely return back to him. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux, I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Okay, so this is basically just pure information. That's it. All we doing is just going through here trying to find information. Hello, sir. How you doing? How will he notice me? Okay, if I get too close. Okay. I'm, I'm going to keep a good distance away from him. This should be a really good distance right here. Should be a good distance, no? No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Okay. Okay, so we should be able to go. We just gotta keep our distance. And we should be just fine. I do not want to move up any closer. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Okay. Just gotta take our time. This is. Ooh, whoa. Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Okay. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Uh oh. Come here. Look at me. Okay. Look at me. Who do you think you are? Oh no. This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Oh wow, you listen. Get out of my sight. Ah, look. I'd love to beat the hell out of him. Put your hands on a woman like that? I Listen, you're such a coward. You're gonna threaten her like that? Wait till, I, mm, wait till I get the opportunity to threaten you, coward. Okay, let's take our time here. Alright. Okay, we saw where he put it. Alright, we gotta wait. We 
gotta wait. I don't know where he went. Where did he go? Okay, we should be able to retrieve it now because I didn't even know where he went. telling me to do You're saying expects something else here right okay guys you can pause and read let's see if we flip it over no, let's put it away okay is there anything else in this room listen I ain't trying I ain't trying to get caught I ain't trying to get caught I ain't gonna be greedy I ain't gonna be greedy I'm just not trying to get caught let me just get the hell up out of here trying to be greedy let's just make it out to Dutch real quick and get this thing over with I know man I I just know myself I just love to explore and grab stuff and Could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Okay. But I just cannot wait till we get this this dude. I cannot wait. They're all scumbags. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Alright, guys. So that was a pretty cool mission. Um, just a mission of reconnaissance. That's all it was. <laughs> Nothing crazy. But, um, yeah, guys. You already know, man. When we come back, we will definitely be doing everything else. So, it's your boy, the original Gamehead, and I'm off this. Peace.